Hi guys, so today we'll be talking about the 2021 amnesty, 2021 UAE amnesty or Expo 2020 amnesty. Ladies and gentlemen, follow me to the end of this video where we discuss about this amnesty. And don't forget, please and please always like my video. Now our target is 50 likes. At least give me 50 likes per one video. So kindly give me your one like and hopefully we will get to our target. That is 50 likes. Follow me to the end of this video where we talk about Expo 2020 Amnesty. Now let's go to the real deal. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to a brand new episode of Life in Dubai, United Arab Emirates. Today we are going to talk about the Expo 2020 Amnesty, which has been around the social media recently uh, this month or last month from like three months now. The thing has been circulating on social media that the UAE has uh, bring up a, a new amnesty program. Now, before I talk about that, I want to explain to those of us that don't know the meaning of amnesty, which for those of us that, that are back home, that is still planning to come to UAE. So, amnesty program is a pro program programmed by the UAE government to ease uh, the tension of people that has been either overstay, uh, absconded, you know, you have a police case or something like that. So, this amnesty will give you the chance is either to go back home or to renew your visa. You know, the reason why I believe that UAE, UAE government came up with that amnesty program is because we all know the condition of uh, the visitors in this country. Most people came because they want to work. You know, most people came because they, they are looking for a greener pasture, a big greener pasture, you know. Most people left their home, you know, some left Nepali, some left, you know, Bangladesh, some left Philippines, some left Nigeria, some left uh, Indians and so on, you know, to come to UAE to look for a job. So, but getting here, you know, it becomes like the the picture of what the what the agent paint for them was not the the thing that they saw you know which which actually made most of them stranded in the country you know they couldn't get to work because of the agent did not explain to them that they need to have certain amount of money if you want to get the job in UAE because most jobs in UAE actually demand for money you know, most people that give job in UAE actually ask for money before they will give you job, which actually it's not legal in UAE, but you cannot fight it. You get, you are the one that need the work, and you know that you have a limited time to stay in the country legally, which you have a three months visa. Most people might apply for three months visa and end up coming with one month visa. You know. A lot of people have fallen a victim of this type of wickedness from the fake agency or let's say from the wicked side of agency because you cannot call them fake, you know, because really they do visa. But the problem is that they did not actually bring out what the promise you get. So that is the reason why it seems like when they come to UAE, they don't actually get, they don't actually see the picture of what the agency have painted for them you get so the reason for the amnesty is because of those people that mistakenly you know i would call it mistakenly get into overstay and once you get into overstay the company that did your visa will automatically put you on blacklist like put you on absconding and uh, absconding simply means that you run away you know the absconding simply means that they are looking for you that means you have a case you get. 
So which, if you are arrested by the police, you might be deported and get a band. You get, so that's it. So the reason why the UAE government bring up this amnesty program is to make sure that they clear those people that has a case like absconding case, uh, overstay and the rest. Is either they will go back home without getting banned, without paying any fine, they should go back, they should exit, they come back later, or you should uh, make a visa change. That is the reason for the amnesty, make a visa change or get an, uh, a work, get an employment, get a job that they will do your, your employment visa, then you will be granted uh, a new living in the UAE. That is the reason for the amnesty. So, for the fact that uh, it has been circulating this, uh, this year that there is 2021 amnesty, I mean, uh, like three months ago, from three months ago to now, there has been circulating that there's new amnesty. The truth is that there is no announcement for the amnesty coming from the government sector. The, there's no announcement, there's no presently, there's no announcement for any amnesty. You get, there's no announcement for any amnesty now. So, for now, there is no sign of amnesty. There is no sign for amnesty. So, for those of you that is asking about when is the amnesty starting, it's the, it's the government that decides all these things, you know? So, it is the government that brings up a this of um, when they think or when they decide that uh, there should be amnesty. So for now we don't know the date. Uh, we don't we don't have any clue of when the amnesty is coming. So for those of you, I want to talk to people that actually put their mind inside amnesty because it now it now seems like a lot of people now when is is uh, is consciously you know getting into overstay hoping that when the amnesty come, they will clear the fine and blah, blah, blah. Listen, I will tell you this, nothing lasts forever. The amnesty program started, I think, the first amnesty that UAE offer was the amnesty that he gave, they gave people that has absconding overstay, they gave them new free six months visa, you know. That was the first step of the amnesty. The, I think that was uh, 2000 and, uh, 2017, if I'm not mistaken. No, I think 2018. Okay, that was their first amnesty, which I'm aware of, okay? Which I'm aware of. Now, they have done this amnesty like three times on my conscious note. Now, I believe that people are thinking that this, now, this amnesty has become a normal thing, that they will just wake up one morning and give you amnesty. Listen, nothing lasts forever. If you are coming to this UAE and somebody is advising you that even if you don't get a job, there is no need for, to renew your visa, you can stay, you can just... Wait, had, the way that they normally paint it, you know, they will tell you, you go Eta Street, go hustle, you know, you, you can go to the street and hustle, you know. That is the, the normal way that they normally paint it, you know. But the fact that you are going, you are purposely going into overstay, hoping that when the amnesty comes, it's going to help you. I will say, tell you this again, don't forget, nothing lasts forever. Maybe the, the, they decide to give amnesty, fine, it is good. But once you are overusing the privilege which is given to you, definitely they will stop it. Because it now seems like most of you is, are deliberately that, like you, you want to enter overstay, like you come to UAE, you want to, instead of you, when even if you don't get to work and your three months finish, as we normally say, your three months colors, you should make a visa change or you should exit. That is the true protocol. 
But now, because you, ha you have one or two friends that is advising you, ah, no need to go back to Nigeria, Nigeria like this, or Nigeria no good, all these things, you know? Then they will advise you, you go via enter, enter street, all these things. When, uh, when amnesty comes, you go just clear them. It's, you think that it's as, easy, it's as easy as this. Let me tell you something that comes with overstay. Amnesty does not come like today, tomorrow. I even I am I have concluded in my mind that this year there is no amnesty. There is no more amnesty for this year. I'm very sure about this one. How many amnesty should they give in a day? They have given amnesty already this year. So are you expecting another amnesty? They have given amnesty this year. We they, they did the visa wave and the, uh, the other thing. And you are still expecting another amnesty the same this year. Where were you when they are making a visa wave? Where were you? And most of you, listen, let me just say this. Hmm? You should know that nothing lasts forever. And if you are expecting amnesty this year, just forget it. There is no amnesty this year. There is nothing like amnesty this year. That your friend that is advising you to go into overstay, that when I'm next you clear it. Do you know the, the, what comes in when you are overstay? Listen, if you are overstay, you automatically go absconding. The company that did your visa will automatically put you absconding, meaning you don't run away. You get, they will automatically put you on absconding. And once you are absconding, once police catch you, you will go back home and you will be banned. You get, you will get a banned. Maybe you might get a live band. Do you understand? Depending on the application. So, why don't you, when you come into UAE, why don't you, when your visa finish, if you have money for your visa change, you do your visa change. If you don't have money, you go back home. Sometimes, no be more be safe, but you go travel abroad. Sometimes before you travel, ask questions, know where your destiny lies before you travel. I always say this, for the first say, a maker there abroad, he may come in five years. You say, this say, you won't come abroad because a maker come abroad though, not because of say you want to come. You get, there's a difference between you have a passion for something and you are doing something because others are doing it. For example, me, I've been in UAE for a couple of years, and because you see me, I'm posting pictures with a car on Facebook. I'm dressing good, I'm wearing a golden chain, and blah, blah, blah. I post it on Facebook. Then you say, ah, this guy, they do well, this guy is doing fine. Therefore, if I go to Dubai, I will also do fine. You are not coming because it's your passion. You are coming because, because you see that others are succeeding. So you believe that if you also come, you will succeed. And when you, if you come in that particular manner, you will be very, 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 very disappointed. I will tell you the truth. If you come in that manner, you will be very, very disappointed. I will tell you why. Everybody has a way. Everybody has what where God has planned for the person to succeed. You can succeed everywhere, but I think God has a specific place for each person. You can be in Dubai, you can, you can be getting food that you will use to eat, you know, feed yourself normally, but there is a place that you will go, that that place will just pick up immediately. That simply means there is, and before you go that place, something must be, has been pushing you to go that place, but you are restricting yourself. But once you put your leg that place, you pick up immediately. That is when, where God has already meant for you. But if you are coming to Dubai because you say, Chinedu, don't travel, come to Dubai, and in the drive motor now, then you want to come to Dubai and drive motor, bro, you'll be broke. It will disappoint you. You understand? There's a lot of people in this Dubai that is older than me. It's already older than me in this country. Understand? 
But akalaka is very important. Hmm? When I was very small, people have been telling, telling me that uh, Emilio, um, uh, my name, they just come and tell me uh, a broad fit you, all these things, you know. It's already in me. You get? So, such as the thing that you should understand that if you never for one day on your own, on your own, think that, hey, I think I, I have to be in abroad. If you have not thought about this on yourself, that means there's, you don't have a dream for that. You don't have a passion for it. Now, if you have seen somebody on Facebook, uh, this guy is doing well, though. Make me say, put visa. And when you put visa, you come, it will not favor you. And that's why most of you end up going into overstay and all that things. Though. Because you say you are coming on the wrong you are coming wrong time. You are coming in the wrong time in the wrong place. You get. So what I'm telling you is this. Do not hope on amnesty. If your visa collapses, you go and renew your visa. If your visa collapses, you go and renew your visa or you exit. To avoid uh, fine, uh, to avoid escalation of problem. Because listen, it might be on your own turn that they will just cancel that there's no amnesty. There's no more amnesty. What do you go do? If maybe your turn that you say, uh, let me just do this one, let me just do this one. Maybe after they can't do one amnesty again, I will come do visa and not go do it again, but let me just do this one. Maybe at that particular time that you just say, let me end over, stay small, low. once you enter, they will just say, no more amnesty. What will you do? Think before you act. You get it? So that's just I have to say. But for now, there's no amnesty. There's no sign of amnesty. And I believe that this year, amnesty has already closed. So let's hope for next year. Hopefully, for next year. If you have an overstay and your overstay is still chicken change, go and pay your overstay and clear your fine. Do not wait for amnesty because it might take a very long time for amnesty to come. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Chris Miller, and here we'll bring you everything that has to do with Dubai United Arab Emirates with the jobs and employment. We have discussed about a lot of things. If you want to learn more things that has to do with Dubai and its employment, kindly go to my YouTube channel, kindly go there. Go to my playlist, you will see Dubai Update. Click that Dubai Update, you will see a lot of interesting videos. We have talked about how to renew passport. We have talked about how to, uh, how to apply for, maybe uh, to renew your passport online, your gratuity, your limited and unlimited contract, type of contracts in UAE, labor law, a lot of things that guys uh, living and working in United Arab Emirates, we have discussed mostly uh, almost everything. So kindly go to my channel, you will love it. Okay, and don't forget, keep liking my video. If you are new in my channel, don't forget to subscribe. And if you are still wishing to travel to uh, Croatia, the opportunity is still open. Kindly go to my description uh, box. The the job which we are, was posted to me is already there. You can read it. You can also understand it. If you want to watch the video that uh, I discussed about how to, if you want to learn about the procedure of traveling to Croatia, click this video here. Click this video here. Then you will watch everything that has to do with Croatia. Then if you are interested, you should send me mess if you are interested. If you are interested, you should send me message. It's straight, straight to if you are interested. Not be somebody that you will come. Every question that you need is already on that video. So if you click there and watch the video. My name is Christian Milo, and thank you for watching. Peace out and God bless.